Hi guys. Today we're going to make a center pop-up card. Um, when I saw it, it was a big square card, so I worked at getting it down for our A2 cards. Um, and I did this one like a Christmas card, like a gingerbread house. And then I did one for the boys. And I did this one and tried to make it look like a barn. And today, um, we're going to do this one. And I haven't put any sentiments on it or greetings because I don't know if I want it for Valentine's, birthday, or thinking of you. But it could go for anything. And I was thinking that you could make it a haunted house as well. This is a uh, A2, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. The mats, which I have just one, I mean, I have three, and the mat is five and a quarter by four. The second mat, the DSP one, I only have one in this, but I have three in the others that I made. Um, and they're all five by three and three quarters. <clears throat> so here we're going to go and uh, do the house from the inside. And I'm going to score it, but I'm also going to put some pencil marks because it's hard to see. And I want you to be able to follow along if you want to do this. So you're going to... Uh, oh, and this piece uh, right here, your base for the uh, pop-up house, is uh, 12 by 3 and 3 quarters. Then you're going to put the paper in at three and three quarters and let me get my pencil ready and you're going to score it at three and three quarters four and three quarters and five and three quarters and then you're going to go down to nine and a half and score it ten and a half and score and eleven and a half and score. Then turn it and you're going to go half an inch. This will be the top of your card. So if you have directional paper, uh, the half inch will be the top of your card. And then you're going to turn it and you're, whoops, I lost my roof. And you're going to go one inch and this will be the, whoops, this will be the bottom of your card. There, now you can see <coughs> where I have scored, I hope. <laughs> and, oh, here are my regular scissors. And then you're going to do some cutting. And you're going to cut this basically off, but I'm doing this at a slant so that this will turn out to be a tab. And I'm doing this at a slant and then cutting this section right off. And I'm going to do the other side as well. Do a slant, a slant, and then cut this off. And that's where you have, you can see your tab. Then we're going to do the same thing right here. We're going to go in at a slant. Go in at a slant. And it doesn't matter how much of a slant you have. It's for your tab. So. And on the other side as well. There. And just on the ends... Uh, I slant those two, too, because they're going to be your tabs. Then you're going to fold your tabs. There, you folded all your tabs. Now you're going to do these score lines that you've got here. Mountain, valley, mountain. Mountain, valley, and you've already done this one as a mountain. And that will be your house. 
You want to put um, red tape or um, score uh, tear and tape, something strong on all your tabs. This is very narrow. <laughs> Maybe I'll go to the wider one that I brought up. And we're going to put this, oh, you might have noticed my fingernails. One of my greats polished them for me. <laughs> Free manicures. Almost. I'm putting double on the wide um, tabs because um, my my red tape is narrow and I want it to stay in place really well. Okay, so you've got all of those. Then I found, she decorated hers after, but I found it easier to decorate it right now. So um, the two sides, the front and back of your house will be three and a half by two and you need two of them this is such pretty paper it bothers me to cover it up but whoops and see directional pay attention <laughs> and we'll do the other remember that this uh, narrow tab is the top of your building. There's those. And then you want four for the sides. And the sides are two and an eighth by seven eighths. And we're going to do the roof. And as soon as I get these four on, we'll do the roof. As you can see, I mean, you don't need a lot of DSP for the house, and you can change the look of it a lot. Whoops, I've got glue on my fingers here. Yeah. Now let me bend down and get the roof. Okay, and your roof is three and a quarter by four and a half, and then you score it at one and five eighths, which is, or, or fold it right down the center. Yep. And we will also decorate the roof, and the decoration for the roof is four and a quarter by one and a half. And like I said, she did her decorating after, but I found it was much easier than trying to work around all your curves after. So here's your roof. So then you're going to take your base card. Let me put this on here. We don't need that. <clears throat> you're going to take your building, and you're going to take the tape off the end and do your accordion folds again so that your house is going to be put together. Fold that under and you're going to line it up with the other end of your house. And there's your house starting. 
Now you're going to take just one side of the long, long, um, the wide tab. Take off your tape. <laughs> okay. And you're going to line that up in the center right against the um, fold and equal distance from both sides. And then you can close your card and you've got that hooked. Then you're going to take the tape off from the bottom of your top of your house. And this is where you're going to put the roof on. <clears throat> so bear with me just a minute. You're going to line the roof up so it does not extend past your card and equal distance on both sides. And then you're going to lay down your house and that adheres. Now it looks a little strange, but we're getting there. See? Your roof is half on, your building is half on. Take off the other half, the other side for your roof, and just close it. Okay. Now, you're going to take the very last off from your wide. Oops, and I got it crooked there. I'm going to just trim that just a bit so it'll close better. You bear with me just a minute. There, I like that better. I'm going to close this. And then the magic happens. Voila! You have your house. And then you decorate it any way you want. You can have, like I put the 3D horse. All I did was take a strip of acetate and fold it uh, so that there are five sections. Glue, uh, glue it together with glue dots. Glue it to your object, your embellishment with glue dots, and also then to your house. And just make sure that it's not going to be taller than your roof so that it stays inside your card. So you can decorate this any way you wish. I thought I would go with a hat and put some kind of sentiment on there and I might add some something more. But it's really very doable for an A2 card. And I kind of hope you'll give it a try. I'd love to see what you come up with. Um, hope you like this. And hope you're having a good week. Bye.